long-awaited tutorial on the painted wooden letters. Um, I had a blast doing this, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. One of the patterns I'm going to be showing you is this rainbow stripe, as well as the rainbow polka dots, which I think are really, really cute together. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some wooden letters, which I got mine from Walmart for just over a dollar. They were pretty cheap. You're also going to need some tape, some water for your paintbrushes, and a paper towel. You're going to need a paint palette to put all of your paint colors in. You're going to need some paint brushes. I chose a sponge brush and a little brush to get in crevices, but the combination is up to you. And lastly, your paint. I chose acrylic paint and I got rainbow colors because that's the theme I was going with. However, whatever theme you're going with, get the colors for that. So starting, we're going to put the white all over the edge of the letters. I find that it's way easier to do this before you paint it. So here's what it'll look like once the edges are done. And it may look a little messy, but that's okay because we're gonna be painting the tops anyways. So I'm gonna paint those because I'm pretty sure you know how to do that and then show you. So here are the finished letters. I think they're really, really cute, um, but we're gonna add color. So I'm gonna start with the stripes. Um, I put all of my colors that I need into the paint palette so they're in my reach. And yeah, so let's get started on the stripes. First, what you're gonna wanna do is put the tape on the letters. I did six different colors, so I made the stripes evenly um, sized. However, you can do them thin, thick, a mixture of both, whatever you choose. Um, just make sure the tape is secure on the letter so you don't end up bleeding paint under the tape. So here's what your letter will look like when you get all the tape on it. It looks a little funky, but it'll look really good in the end. Um, I have six pieces of tape for each stripe. And then you're gonna take whatever color paint you're using first, or just the color that you're using, and paint the stripe whatever color you're gonna um, use. I did two coats. I found that two coats looked best, but do as many as you think um, suits your letter. So once you have all your colors, it looks a bit messy, but then you're gonna peel the paint off, or the tape off, once it dries, and it'll look really nice with a sharp line um, for each layer. I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah. And here's the end result after you peel off all the tape. So let's move on to our dotted letters. So you're gonna take the end of your sponge brush or the biggest brush you have with the circle on the bottom um, and then lower it onto your letter and you'll have a perfect dot. Um, I had issues with this. I wanted to paint the dots myself, but I found that it works better um, with the end of the paintbrush. Um, and when you wanna switch colors, just um, wipe off the end of the brush onto a paper towel and then you can switch colors and I found that worked best for me. So once you have all your colors done, it should look like this or however you want it to look. Um, and I think these dots are super cute. They're the perfect size. Yeah. So that's how I made all of these letters. I think they are super cute for a nursery, your bedroom, for your own name. Um, and they're really easy, they're really inexpensive to make instead of ordering some on Etsy. Um, but I do do custom orders, so if you're interested in a certain color scheme or whatever you're looking for, PM me and I'll give you a quote. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, subscribe, or else we will see you in the next video. Bye!